Well, good afternoon. It's great to be with you for another installment of the Mililani Minute videos. Uh, I hope that you've been able to see these videos and uh, Pastor Caleb, Pastor John, and myself. Uh, there's even some deacons that have been filming some videos, and so we, we hope that these videos continue to be an encouragement for you. As we continue to stay at home, there's different things happening. There's different opportunities that we have, not just individually, but even with our families. Uh, we've heard different folks tell us that this has actually been a really good thing for their families uh, in the sense that they have more time together. They're able to uh, hang out more often. They're able to spend more family time together because of the stay at home order. And they're able to do things like go on a hike or go to the beach. Thankfully, that's open again. Uh, they're able to do different things. And I hope that this time has been a time of refreshment for you. But I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize that this is also a difficult time for so many. And while it may be good on the family front, it may be a difficult time for you at work. Um, or there may be no work now. You may have lost your job as a result of COVID-19 and the response to it. Uh, and, and I just want you to know we're praying for you. We feel for you. Uh, we're here for you. If you need anything, if there's anything that we can do for you, um, please let us know. Comment below or send us a message or email us. You can email us directly uh, or you can email us at pastor at mbaptist.org. That's P-A-S-T-O-R at mbaptist.org. Dot org. With that being said, I do want to look at a passage today for our time together. Uh, this passage is important for us today, I think, because it reminds us to get back to what we were all called to do uh, by Jesus, and that is to love one another. So in case you're uh, thinking in your head, where, where might he be going with this? I'll just come right out and tell you. It's going to be 1 Corinthians 13. Uh, we are commanded to love one another, and Paul gives us a brilliant explanation of what love is. So I want to dive right into that for our time together today. Paul says at the beginning of chapter 13, If I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but have not love, I have nothing. Now that's, that's very important. Uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, if I give away all that I have and I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. So what is Paul telling us? You can be the smartest person in the world. Uh, you can have all of the knowledge. You can have all the faith, you can have all the trust in the world, but if you're not loving others, then that faith really is dead. That faith is worthless. Uh, a faith that does not lead you to love others really isn't true faith at all. So Paul is reminding us, you have to love one another. Um, there are many different ministries right now that are making their teaching ministries available for free. Uh, there are things like Lifeway has, has been offering things through their curriculum department. Um, League and Air Ministries, a teaching ministry, uh, has, has made their entire teaching collection completely free for the time being. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities for us to get on the computer and learn. Um, there are different seminaries. I think Dallas Theological Seminary is one of them that has been putting so many classes and courses online for you to, to learn and to grow. Uh, and I, I mention these things because I want you to know, if we take the time to learn all of this information, if we're at home, we have nothing better to do, so we can watch Right Now Media and we can learn, or we can watch these classes online and we can learn, or we can, we can study these different things and, and we can learn, and all of that's true. And I hope that you are learning. I hope that you're taking this time to better yourself, to deepen your understanding of God, to grow in your faith and in your knowledge. But if you're growing in your faith and you're growing in your knowledge and you're uncovering truths that they're not new, but they may be new to you, and you're deepening your, your horizon as far as uh, the theology goes and theological understanding goes, I want to encourage you today, 
Uh, over the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about 1 Corinthians 13, or at least I will in, in the videos that I'm doing. And I, I want to encourage you today and over the next few videos, you can have all of the knowledge in the world. You can be the smartest person in the room. Uh, you could have all the theological uh, truths worked out. But if you don't have love, and I want you to hear this, you have nothing. Uh, knowledge without love is pointless. Um, if your knowledge of God does not lead you to love like he loved, then you're doing it wrong. Uh, your love for theology can lead you to understand incredible truth and, and deeply complex arguments for the faith and for uh, what we believe. But if you do not have love, Paul says, you are nothing more than a noisy gong and a clanging symbol. And right now, before we get into the rest of this passage, and we'll do that in the next video, but before we get into this passage, I just want to make sure that, that we are on the same page here. Uh, during our response to COVID-19 and everything that's going on, what the world needs less of is noise and clanging cymbals and just pointless gongs. Now, a gong in its right setting is helpful, um, but... Right now, theology without love is not helping anybody. And so I encourage you to take stock of yourself. Uh, before the next video, read through 1 Corinthians 13, especially starting at verse 4 as Paul begins to define love. Uh, I encourage you to look through this. Take stock of your own heart, your own actions, your own activities, and begin to question, am I loving as I should? Do I love my coworker? Do I love my boss? Do I love my spouse? Do I love my children? And how do I show them that I love my boss, my neighbor, my spouse, my child? I encourage you to work through that. Uh, I want to pray with you before we go. Uh, but just remember, uh, we can have all the things of this world, but if we don't have love, we're wasting our time. Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for just the chance that you've given us to be able to interact. And I know it's virtual and, and this is being recorded and those watching are watching at a later date. But, but Father, I, I know that you are outside time. And so we can pray like this and, and we know that you're hearing us and, and that those who may be saying these words along with me or they may be receiving this prayer, Father, I, I just pray that uh, you would continue to work in our hearts and our lives. You are good. Help us to love as you've called us to love. Help us to love our neighbor as ourselves. but help us to first love you with all our heart, our soul, our strength, and our mind. And the more we love you, Father, we know that you're going to enable us to love others. Give us a good day. Help us to love well. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.